everyone! Welcome back to my channel! Heto na naman ako para magturo sa inyo. Ngayon, ang topic natin ay rational equation. Magsusolve na tayo ng value ng x. Simulan muna natin sa pagde-define ng rational equation. So, rational equation is an equation containing at least one rational expression. So, yung rational expression na tinutukoy ko ay yung mga nagdaang topic na diniscuss ko sa inyo. So, pwede na siguro tayo magsimula? Mag-example na tayo ng rational equation. So, eto muna yung pinakamadali. 5 over x minus 1 third is equal to 1 over x. As you can see, the denominators are different. So, ibig sabihin, we're going to look for the LCD. So, ano ang magiging LCD natin? That would be 3x. So, LCD is equal to 3x. The next step that you are going to do is to multiply both sides of the equation to the LCD. So, this will become like this. Okay? Imumultiply natin yung LCD natin na 3x dito sa equation natin, both sides. Pagkatapos nito, imumultiply natin bawat isang term dito sa LCD. Okay? So, this will become 3x times 5 over x minus 3x times 1 third equals 3x times 1 over x. Okay? Then, let's start. So, in multiplying, we cancel this x, so that becomes 15. 3 times 5 is 15. Then, we cancel 3 and 3. This becomes x times 1 is x. Equals, cancel the x. Then, 3 times 1 is 3. So, now, wala na tayong denominator. Pwede na tayong mag-solve ng value ng x. So, 15 minus x is equal to 3. So, by transposition, this will become negative x is equal to 3 minus 15. So, etong 15 na to, nilipat natin sa kabila. And then, you have to change it, the sign. Okay? Then, we have negative x is equal to negative 12. Then, since negative ang value niya ng x, meaning we have to change it to positive by dividing both sides by negative 1. Okay? Then, we have x is equal to 12. Okay? So, after getting the value of x, we have to check if this value is correct. Okay? Let's go back to the original equation. So, this is 5 over x minus 1 third is equal to 1 over x. So, substituting the value of x to 12, which is our value, that becomes 5 over 12 minus 1 third is equal to 1 over 12. So, they have different denominators. Our LCD is 12. LCD is 12. Then, change to similar denominator. So, 12 divided by 12 is 1 times 5 is 5. Then, we have 12 divided by 3 is 4 times 1 is 4 equals 1 over 12. So, 5 minus 4 is equal to 1 over 12, that means our value is correct. So, let's move to the next example. x over x plus 2 plus 2 over x squared plus 5 x plus 6 is equal to 5 over x plus 3. So, as you can see, yung denominators natin, may dalawang binomial at merong isang trinomial. Now, if you are familiar with uh, factoring or kung sanay na kayo sa factoring, you will know na ang factors ng x squared plus 5x plus 6 ay yung x plus 2 saka x plus 3. So, ito yung magiging factor ng x squared plus 5x plus 6, x plus 2 times x plus 3. So, that means, ang magiging LCD natin ay x plus 2 times x plus 3 or yung mismong trinomial na yan. Okay? So, ang LCD, i-multiply natin bawat isa. So, that means, x plus 2 
times x plus 3 times x over x plus 2 plus x plus 2 times x plus 3 times 2 over x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to x plus 2 times x plus 3 times 5 over x plus 3. Okay. Now, to continue. So, if you are going to multiply this, mamumultiply na natin, makakancel natin ito, then this will become x times x plus 3. Then, plus, pareho to, ito yung factors ng x squared plus 5, x plus 6, so, makakancel natin ito, the whole, then, matitira lang is 2, then, equals, cancel natin yung x plus 3, so, that means, 5 times x plus 2 ang matitira. So, simplify, x times x is x squared, plus, x times 3 is 3x, plus 2, equals, 5 times x is equal to 5x. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. Then, transpose. x squared plus 3x minus 5x plus 2 minus 10 is equal to 0. So, what is 3x minus 5x? This is negative 2x. 2 minus 10 is negative 8 equals to 0. Now, ano ang factors ng negative 8 na kapag inad mo ay negative 2 ang lalabas? So, that means x minus 4 and x plus 2 is equal to 0. So, kunin na natin ang value ng x. Ang x minus 4 x minus 4 is equal to 0. So, that is x is equal to 4. What about the other one? x plus 2 is equal to 0. Then, x is equal to negative 2. So, that means may dalawa na naman tayong value ng x. So, we have to check kung yung bang dalawang value na yan ay magsasatisfy dito sa ating given equation. Now, let's start substituting the value of x. Yung first x natin is 4. So, this is 4. Lagay natin check muna para makita natin. 4 over 4 plus 2 plus 2 over 4 square plus 5 times 4 plus 6 is equal to 5 over 4 plus 3. Okay? So, 4... Over 4 plus 2 is 4 over 6 plus. So, what is 4 squared? This is 16 plus 20 plus 6. Okay, 16 plus 20 is 36 plus 6 is 42. So, this is 2 over 42 is equal to 5 over 7. Then, kanyang denominator, 6, 42, and 7. So, that means, ang magiging kanyang LCD is 42. Okay? 42 din to. So, 42 divided by 6 is 7. Times 4 is 28. 42 divided by 42 is 1. Times 2 is 2. Then, 42 divided by 7 is 6. Times 5 is 30. So, 28 plus 2 is 30 over 42. And the same with 30 over 42. So, that means, tama ang isang value ng x natin. What about the other one? So, the other one is negative 2. So, let us substitute. Negative 2 over negative 2 plus 2 plus 2 over negative 2 square plus 5 times negative 2 plus 6 is equal to 5 over negative 2 plus 3. So, negative 2 over 0 plus 2 over, this is 4, minus 10 plus 6 is equal to 5 over 1. So, this is negative 2 over 0 plus 
4 minus 10 is negative 6 plus 6 is already 0 is equal to 5 over 1 or simply 5. As you can see, parehong 0 ang denominator nito. Meaning, undefined. Therefore, hindi na siya magiging equal or itong value ng x na to ay hindi siya true value nitong equation na to. So, there is only one solution. Yung x is equal to 4. Okay? O, oh, naging mahirap ba para sa inyo ang rational equations? Medyo, talagang mahirap talaga maghanap ng x. Kaya lang, kailangan lang talaga natin ang practice para makasanayan natin ang pagsusold. Okay? So, paano ba yan? Tapos na naman ang lesson natin. That's all for now. Bye!